what's going on guys all this got hit pretty quick didn't it um um salute do a salute in the in the comments to this video because um this is a news story about a dude who was an outcast who ended up crashing out and um i just want to cover this news story um but if you knew that you were born to lose do a salute in the chat if you knew from a young age that your love life was going to be a disaster if you knew it wasn't going to work out for you do a salute in the chat you know do you know because i don't have no shame in admitting i always knew things weren't going to work out for me from the time i was an adolescent i knew it would never work out you know um it's unfortunate that some guys weren't meant to procreate you know you know but uh what can you what can you say some guys just women just don't want to build no future with us i knew from the time i was a teenager that i was destined for hell and i'm sure a lot of you guys knew you were destined for hell too um you know, you know, the sad part about it is uh, a lot of us, you know, we couldn't even have a family if we wanted to. Because wouldn't no woman want to bear our seed, you know? Wouldn't no woman want to procreate with us? A lot of people fail to realize that, uh, and, and I think a lot of people know this deep down, some people are what you call natural born losers. Salute in the chat if you feel you a natural born loser. You know, a lot of people don't want to admit that they're a natural born loser, but it's real. But um, this is the story of, um, we'll go ahead and read this story. Orlando Harris was the gunman who shot and killed a health teacher and 16 year old student and wounded 17 at Central VPA High School in St. Louis, Missouri on October 24th, 2022. Police say, pol uh, police say, he was shot and killed by police at the scene, they said. Harris, 19, was named in a press conference by St. Louis police. He graduated from the high, sc from the school in 2021 and had no criminal history, they said. He did have a history of mental health issues, they said. I wonder why he had mental health issues. Police were searching a home in the 7,000 block of Pennsylvania Avenue in South, in South Street Saint, in, in South St. Louis that related to Orlando Harris. He lived with family members, said St. Louis Police Chief Michael Sack. Um, it's, it's, it goes to say, um, students jumped out of school windows and hid behind barricaded doors as the shooter made his way into the locked school and fired a, bar a barrage of gunshots. Sack said in a press conference that officers arrived within minutes of the call going out and immediately made entry into the school. He said the first call came in at 9.11 a.m. and officers arrived on scene by 9.15 a.m. The teacher who died was named as Jean Kirk Kuzga. I believe he was Russian. That name sounds Russian. A family, a, a, a married mother of five and a grandmother who was a youth hockey star in college. Kuzka, 61, was remembered for her grace and kindness. You can read a tribute to her here. The student who died has been named as Alex Bell, 16. She was remembered as talented, beautiful, and smart. Read a tribute to Bell here. 
Kuzka had locked her door, but Harris shot into it, according to KSDK TV. Man, this is a crazy story here. He did shoot Miss Kuzka, and I just closed my eyes. Student Alex Machias said to KSDK TV, I didn't really want to see anything else. But then as I thought he was leaving, I opened my eyes to see him standing there making eye contact with me. He said the surviving victims were a 16-year-old male student with a gunshot wound to the leg, a 16-year-old female student with a graze wound to the leg, a 15-year-old male student with gunshot wounds to both hands and the jaw, a 15-year-old male student who suffered a gunshot wound to an arm, a 15-year-old female student who had abrasions, a 16-year-old female student with a fractural ankle with a fractured ankle, and a 15-year-old male student with facial abrasions. All are in stable condition. Good to hear that. Uh, it even goes to say that um, the shooter left behind a note describing his isolation. Math teacher David Williams told the St. Louis Post-Dispatch that school principal used a code phrase over the loudspeaker around 9 a.m. that indicated a shooter in the building. Williams then heard gunfire outside his classroom and a window on a classroom door was shot out, the newspaper reported. Man, this is a crazy story. You are all going to F and die. A man's voice, voice said, Williams told the Post-Dispatch. According to SAC, at 9.23 a.m., officers located the suspect and began engaging him in a gunfight. He was then reported, reported down. The building was then cleared with a sweep, with a sweep that included a bomb dog. The school was locked when the gunmen arrived, according to KSDK TV. A reporter asked whether the shooter got through the locked door because security guards were not armed. The chief did not directly answer the question. Security staff did an outstanding job identifying the suspect's effort to enter and immediately notified other staff and ensured police were contacted, Sack said. A reporter whether Harris a reporter asked whether Harris had a list of other school shootings in his vehicle. The chief said that information would come out when the investigative report is complete. I know where, I know there is some evidence that was taken out, he added. Man, this is a crazy story. According to police, Harris family contacted police before the shooting to reveal he had a gun and his mother wanted it removed from the house. In a news conference, Sachs said officers in their response handed it over to somebody else, an adult who was lawfully able to possess it. Possess it. However, he had an AR-15 and 600 rounds of ammo in the shooting, police said. They would search his room on occasion because they were concerned, Sack said. They were constantly in touch with the medical providers who were providing medical care for him. Police said that his family had him committed to mental health institutions in the past. I wonder why. Raymond J. Parks, a dance teacher at the school, and the shooter was dressed all in black and pointed the gun at him, but did not fire. He said he didn't know why, according to the dispatch. The shooter banged on classroom door, but couldn't get inside, a student witness told the, dis the post dispatch. According to SAC, students who fled the school told arriving police officers that the shooter was armed with
was the long gun. Officers heard gunfire and ran to it. The located, they located the shooter and engaged the shooter. With the exchange of gunfire, Sack said, the suspect was struck and was later pronounced dead. No officers were injured. Man, this is a crazy story. And it goes, it goes on. But I'm gonna go ahead and chime in. I believe this dude was a was a was an outcast. I mean, what would possess this dude to just set it off like this in a school? You know, I believe that uh this guy had no friends, um, probably was bullied more than likely, uh, didn't have no love life. But I mean, it's crazy how these types of dudes, you know, who didn't have none of that end up lashing out like this. And um, I say, whatever you're going through, just make sure you talk to somebody because uh, this type of behavior right here is inexcusable. I mean, lashing out like this and killing folks, it, it's just totally inexcusable. But, um, you know, when you a reject, when you a man that's ugly, um, you just gonna catch hell in life. You know, things are gonna be bad for you. Um, and I mean, you, you gotta pay attention to patterns. That's why I, I, I seriously stress, guys pay attention to patterns. Um, all these people lost their life because, you know, this guy had these problems. This is why I say, whatever you going through, make sure you talk to somebody about your problems. Don't just keep it all inside. Make sure you vent and talk to somebody. Because uh, all these people lost their life because this dude had all these problems. You know? And um, I, I, I would never excuse behavior like this. You know, just because you know, you in a bad situation, you don't, you don't crash out like this. I mean, this dude went out in a blaze of glory for real. But, um, I, I, you know, all I can say is that I feel for dudes who are unattractive to the opposite sex, um, dudes who are just complete losers. I, you know, I feel for dudes in these types of positions because uh, no one asked for this. But, um, it, you know, it, it, this is just the hand that, uh, that, 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 that this evil, ev evil, th this evil witch called life gave us. That's the hand that the evil witch gave us. But um, you guys let me know what you think about this story. It's a sad case. You, you know, um, you got dudes out here crashing out because, you know, they not want it. You know, they outcast, they, you know, rejects. You know, it's, 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 it's unfortunate. But, um, you know, and what's so sad is I believe a lot more incidents like this are going to take place. But um, you guys leave your comments. I'll talk to you soon.